it was such a beautiful blending of insanity. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Were you guys just laughing at me when I was like, oh, chill rock vibes? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Koality Reactions, where we're gonna listen to some more quality art. Today we are listening to a brand new band to the channel, Deep Purple, and their song, Child in Time. I don't think I've heard anything by them before, so I looked up that they are an English rock band formed in London in 1968. They are considered to be among the pioneers of heavy metal and modern rock, but their musical approach has changed over the years. I'm always excited to listen to something new, so I cannot wait to hear what is about to grace our earballs. Just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe. With that being said, let's do this. in time you'll see the line the line that's drawn between the good and the bad see the blind man yeah, he is shooting at the world bullets flying Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait, again, what? Okay, every time I read that somebody is like the pioneer of heavy metal and modern rock, I'm, I don't know what is going on in my brain, but it is not this. This is so cool and vi I'm vibing with what's going on right now. This is very uh, like like chill rock for me. I'm digging it. I, I, I don't know what, I forget what this double like keyboard almost it sounded very organy thing happening is called but very cool i love the that kind of music la um layered in with everything else that's going on uh i really like this guy's voice it has a very kind of like classic again 70s rock thing which i love i just love kind of that era of music and and that kind of singing in bands um and so i'm digging the vibes also just you know putting a lot of oomph into the song and he when he looked at the camera and came at it that was really funny for me but yeah so far this is this is really interesting because it's not at all what I was picturing in my brain which it never is so I don't know why I'm still shocked by it I guess you know you know what I, I guess if I listened to a band and it was exactly what I thought it was going to be I that would shock me too now because now I've almost come the opposite way and I should just expect it to be completely different. Anyway, the lyrics. Sweet child in time, you'll see the line. The line that's drawn between good and bad. See the blind man shooting at the world, bullets flying, oh, taking toll. If you've been bad, oh Lord, I bet you have. And you've not been hit, oh, by flying lead. You'd better close your eyes, oh, bow your head, wait for the ricochet. And I kind of like the end when he was, when he went wait for the ricochet I kind of like that um the music in that part that was way different than I expect, expected just from 
reading the lyrics. Um, so yeah, I did look up that this was loosely inspired by the Cold War at the time, I believe, when the song was written. So probably has to do with, uh, could be seen as having to do with certain wars around that time. But really, I think kind of lends to talking about war in general. If the blind man see the blind man shooting at the world, bullets flying is... I don't think do, doesn't really have to talk about a certain person or a certain country or anything. It could just be talking about mankind in general and how, you know, we often tend to do things without thinking about the consequences or yeah, because like almost every nation has had some kind of conflict of war. And I just think this is such a kind of universal song that, you know, just because you haven't been hit by something, um, you better close your eyes and wait for the ricochet. Again, I feel like it even transcends just talking about war. I really just think that's true in life. Uh, talking about doing things without thinking and the consequences that can happen after that. So it's kind of cool that it has transcended the time to really take on shape of anything. I really like lyrics that are like that because they can be really meaningful about a certain subject, but also I feel like they live on even longer when you can draw meaning from it in other parts of your life. So I'm really digging the vibe here so far. Let's just keep going. I'm crying for you day and night. Whoa, whoa. Were you guys just laughing at me when I was like, oh, chill rock vibes? Everybody who's seen this was just like, wait for it. <laughs> I did not think that was coming. As soon as it started picking up, I thought, oh no, what have I said? Um, this is very fun. I'm loving this. Uh, I love that he was like, it felt like he was kind of improvising there and riffing a little bit with the lyrics because that's not what I have pulled up here. So maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I love that. Also, the audience looks so um, relaxed. They don't feel as hyped as I feel listening to this music. <laughs> the like quick shot of those people, uh, just like was kind of a oh, funny contrast because they're really killing it right now with the music. Uh, this guy on the keyboard is just like really going for it. And now that's kind of like changing into even a different thing. So that's why I wanted to pause it quickly before the music changed because it's changing into something totally different, which is really fun. So I am going to back it up, but I just had to stop and say, I get it. I was misled. Ah, okay. Here we go.
wait, wait. Was that musical interlude like the building of if this song is about war, it really felt like it was reflecting the chaotic, a kind of aggressive nature of it. It was really building. It really built. Like it started out, you know, pretty heavy. And then it just got more and more and more and more. And then just to completely cut the noise, so effective. That was so cool. I love that they're kind of weaving this story just with the music. Not even like, obviously there's some lyrics in here, but like a majority so far has been mostly music, which is very cool. I love that. Um, obviously the playing is insane. I'm hoping that my facial reactions weren't insane. For a, one, for a second, I was like, oh my God, I've just sat like this for so long. But because I was concentrating so hard, that was insane. That like the 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 drummer, the the guitarist, the keyboardist. I swear, it was just like a, it was such a beautiful blending of insanity. Um, that was amazing. That was amazing. And now they've cut it, and they're going back to something a little bit more mellow. So we'll just continue. But I had to stop and say, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Okay, 
first of all, what is wrong with that audience? They were way too fucking chill. <laughs> I was like, what is, I feel like my brain's on fire and my body was on fire. That was, what a, what a weirdly powerful song based on two, it was just, it was just like one verse and chorus, if you want to call it that, or just like one chunk of, um, uh, lyrics that was repeated a second time and at least i'm sure it's the same just let me well yeah exactly the same from what uh, i'm looking at and it was i i don't know if this was what was intended but i was thinking on the second go around that it was almost like history repeating itself do you know what I mean? Like it started out chill again and it was like sweet child in time. You'll see the line, the line that's drawn between good and bad. See the blind man shooting at the world, bullets flying, you know? And then at the end of the singing and the lyrics, it was almost like the the, the screaming in anguish, this kind of felt like. And then it was like the intense music that was building up again. So I feel like it really could have been seen as that was the chaos, chaoticness that comes after. Um like the war or the consequences or whatever. And it was kind of, could be seen as just like it was repeating itself. <laughs> that was just a weird out of my brain idea. It could be totally wrong. But I thought that was kind of cool that it could be interpreted that way. That audience was way too chill though. That was, I mean, I'm sure that they were told to do that. But man, they just like had no expressions on their faces. I feel like it would be really hard as a band to play in that environment. To hype it up, they were so on. Like the music was incredible and the singer, I'm sorry, don't know their names. You can tell me in the comments, was really given it. And like the whole performance was so charged. I don't understand. Like that would be so hard to maintain that level of energy as a band when the energy you're feeding off of is so lackluster, one might say. Anyway, that was incredible. Thank you for that suggestion. That was so much fun. I definitely have never heard this song before. So <laughs> I'm glad I have now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here. If you like this reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when more is coming your way. And as always, I will link my Twitch in the info section below if you want to come over there and hang out with me when I'm live. But that's it for today's video. So take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.